Hey, Simmers, The Sims team has just released a laundry list of things that they are hoping to fix in the game in the upcoming patch. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. They're heading over to the EA website. Laundry list October 8th, 2024. And it says, Soul Soul Simmers, welcome to The Sims 4 laundry list where we share the top community concerns that we are currently investigating and aim to resolve in an upcoming patch later this month. In our commitment to resolving technical challenges, our team focuses on community voted fixes with each update. This is the fourth release in the series, and we look forward to the opportunity to continue to improve the experience for our players. Now, what they're talking about, their commitment to resolving technical challenges. Back in May, they released a laundry list where they said, you may notice we're investigating more issues than previous months. This is because we've assembled a team to invest in the core game experience, including tackling technical issues within The Sims 4. So that's what they're talking about here, which is awesome. And they have really been getting through quite a few bugs with each laundry list. They move on to say the list below highlights issues most frequently reported by the community through Answers HQ. While some issues may not be listed, they may still be in the process of being addressed. Some topics can require an extended investigation on our end, so even though these fixes may be an active review, it is not a guarantee that we'll have an immediate fix for it in the coming patch. As with each new patch, please remember to remove any external game mods and custom content if you're experiencing issues as the first step in troubleshooting, as they may conflict with the updates. Thank you for your reports and happy simming. So here's the list that they are currently investigating for the upcoming game update. On console, in Cottage Living, images for crafted cross-stitch objects on the PS4 will no longer be in grayscale. And in Growing Together, puzzles are no longer in black and white on the PlayStation. In the base game, the things that they're working on fixing is Sims will not eat spoiled food autonomously. That is fantastic. I have noticed that my Sims have been just picking up spoiled food and eating them. Just even though there's, there's food that's not spoiled, they for some reason go for the spoiled food. So I am glad that they're going to be fixing that. Interactions will no longer jam and prevent progression through the interaction queue when caused by stuck chickens on the lot. That is a very specific bug, but I'm glad that they're fixing it. Sims will fully close their eyes when they are supposed to, like when sleeping. So no more sleeping with one eye open, gripping your pillow tight. Parent Sims will no longer get stuck standing idly in front of the crib when trying to interact with the sleeping baby. Thank you very much. NPC Sims are currently entering like your Sims home without knocking on the door. They just let themselves in and they're going to be fixing that problem. Skill books have disappeared from libraries, weirdly. And thankfully, they're, they're going to be fixing that. So skill books should be available at all libraries once this new update rolls out. Plants have been dying even though they've been fully watered. That's going to be fixed. There's a bug where the most recently interacted with Sim has not been appearing at the top of the relationship panel. And in case you've never noticed this, and unless you have your relationship panel open a lot, you, you would not have noticed this. Basically, let me let me drop my camera down a little bit more. There we go. There we go. Okay. So basically, what normally happens in the relationship panels, when you talk with a Sim, that Sim's portrait is supposed to get moved up to the top of your relationship panel. And for some reason, it's not been. They're gonna be fixing that, so don't worry. Moving on to pizza delivery sims. They've been refusing tips and you've not been able to interact with them once the pizza's been delivered. They're gonna be fixing that so you can now become friends with your pizza delivery person once again. Nannies have been going invisible uh, but they are going to be removing that uh, so that nannies remain visible, thankfully. Sims have been aging up incorrectly when adjusting game age options. They are 
fixing the issue where a held baby tries to perform an interaction that requires the adult to put them down, but the adult can't, so it just spins in a loop. One tile gable roofs, the textures haven't been applying on those one tile roofs. Curved fences have had a problem where they're not casting shadows. Now I have to admit, I don't tend to work with curved fixed fences in The Sims 4 because they are extremely buggy, so I've not noticed this, but again, I'm, I'm glad that they are going to be fixing this. The next thing is there have been some small black shadows appearing on lots in Manage World Map. They're working on a way that we can remove these shadows by loading into the affected lot and then immediately exiting to regenerate the thumbnail. So that's handy. There's been a problem with blue squares in empty lot traits when saving the lot in build node. Thankfully, they're fixing that, so that shouldn't be a problem once this new update rolls out. The modify career outfit sheet is going to be fixed for part-time careers. Male tank tops have been appearing after selecting feminine fashion choice. That's no longer going to be an issue. Strangers will no longer mourn when a sim dies which is awesome because i've always thought that that was really weird that you don't know the sim so why should your sim be in mourning for someone that they literally have never met once the update happens it's going to be fixed so that the buff is only displayed if you are at least acquaintances with that sim the SDX pony ponytails texture will no longer distort around pulled out ear shapes. This is really cool. I really like this one. Non-binary sims will now be properly referred to as the birthday sim during the birthday party event. Little tiny fix there that really adds um, a lot of in inclusion into the game. The Nanacan 2.0 will now be tagged as off the grid. They're going to be fixing an issue that could occur during adopt a child flow while off lot. Moving on to multiple packs. Uh, this bug uh, affects quite a few different packs, so they're not listing it as just under one DLC. They're working on clearing situations where build by objects and houses placed with placed with move objects on would appear in the sky. So if you've been having problems putting build by objects down and suddenly they just move all the way up to the sky, that will be fixed very soon. In Bust the Dust, they're fixing the bug where the clean house inspired buff has been overriding other buffs and blocking related interactions. In City Living, they are Fixing the game failed to load error when visiting apartments with placed pools. The city living festivals bug where the festivals weren't appearing properly in the calendar is being fixed. The very weird San Mishuno bug that made NPC Sims experience sudden weight gain is also being fixed. In Crystal Creations, there is a problem with the crystal tree becoming invisible or transparent so that the crystals could no longer be collected. When this happens, you would see the crystals suspended in mid-air, but the tree was nowhere to be found and, and you weren't able to click on the crystals to harvest them. They're going to be fixing this, so if you've experienced that bug, don't worry about it. It will soon be fixed. Eco Lifestyle. Previously, vertical gardens were not counted towards the freelance bot botanist aspiration. They will be once this new update rolls out. And for rent, the property owner will no longer be charged along with eviction settlement after a tenant breaks their lease. That's going to fix a major issue in for rent pack. There's been a bug where the event failed TNS has been triggering after completing the Tenant Revolt event by performing Promise Better Conditions. They are working on that fix. The bug where lot challenges and lot traits of a lot downloaded from the gallery has not been correctly reflected in the game. The bug that was occurring when a sim bulldozed a unit in an off-lot residential rental 
the rent for other hidden units won't reset to zero. That is being fixed, so you don't have to worry about your tenants living in your, your homes for rent free, basically. In growing together, they are working on fixing the bug where with clipping issues when the child sims practice riding bike. And they're also working to fix the Tunic Pants Dark Pink asset to pair properly with all the nail assets. Moving on to high school years, they're working on fixing a bug where lunchboxes in the inventory are not being eaten by teen sims during lunch hours. They're also working on fixing the digging rocks where they weren't respawning once this bug update has been rolled out. These rock points will, will continue to respawn so that you can continue to dig these rocks to get crystals and elements and, and whatever else you need. In Horse Ranch, Bad Ranch product Moodlet has been observed upon harvesting excellent, magnificent, perfect quality plants. They're fixing that bug, so that will be a relief for those of you who have been playing in Horse Ranch. In Island Living, there's a bug where mermaids don't get a tombstone when they die. This is an Island Living My Wedding Stories bug. It affects both of them. It's regarding an Island Living canoe. The Island Living canoe has been getting water inside of it when you put the canoe in Tartosa. And they're, they're fixing that so that the, the canoe will no longer take on board water. In Lovestruck, there was a duplicate toe swatch for the Petty Contrast Contrast Orange, which is being removed. In the Paranormal Investigator Pack, the lights in haunted houses have been reverting to auto mode, even when you set them to not be in auto mode, and they're, they're fixing that. Moving on to Realm of Magic, there's only one bug fix that they're working on currently, and that is, thankfully... <laughs> The spellcaster animation in Create a Sim. You will find after this next update that the animation will run less frequently, which is a huge thank you. <laughs> Such an annoying thing. In Seasons, there is a bug where flower arrangements have been changing when placed from the gallery or the library. So the picture of the flower arrangement will look different when you place it in the world as to what it looks like in the gallery or in your library. They're fixing that so it should look the same. In Vampires, infants will no longer teleport to outside of the crib when resuming the game right as the baby transitions to sleep. One of those very odd, odd bugs. The Vintage Glamour Pack. The Globe Bar Drink Platter has up until now not been fitting on accent tables in tables or coffee tables but that platter will now fit on these things as it should so our sims will no longer take the platter from the globe bar from the room that it was in all the way to like the kitchen or the bathroom to, to put it down thankfully and finally, in Werewolves, we've got two bugs that The Sims team's working on fixing. These are, again, create a sim. Werewolf sims will howl less frequently. Thank you. Another major annoyance is being taken care of. And there's been a problem where turned werewolves will not have any color on their nose at all. In werewolf form, that is being fixed. So my friends, that is the list of bugs that The Sims team is currently working on. There's no guarantee that they will fix all of these bugs, but they are working on fixing as many of them as possible. And there's also a chance that there might be other bugs once the game updates that isn't in this list. And when that happens, I will of course update you with that. If you're experiencing bugs in The Sims 4, please do head over to answers.ea.com. I will put the link in the description below for you, for your convenience, and make sure that you report any bugs that you've seen in the game so that team knows about them and they can be fixed.